Did you pull your sous vide chicken out of the sous vide bath and think to yourself, this looks so weird. Well, if you did, if you think your sous vide chicken looks weird, if you're worried that it's not okay to eat your sous vide chicken, well, one of two things, it could not be okay. It could be undercooked or you could simply just not know what chicken is supposed to look like sous vide. So I'm Jenna from Sit by Go and I'm going to take you into the kitchen and I'm gonna kind of debunk some of these reasons why sous vide chicken looks so weird when it comes out of the sous vide bath. Let's go. As you can imagine, I did so much research and so much experimentation, especially when it came to testing the final recipes for the sous vide cookbook that I wrote, um, just published in 2020. I have a ton of sous vide recipes in the works and I'm answering all of your dying hard sous vide questions so you can make the best food at home, you know, restaurant style food that your family and you actually want to eat. My friend called me off the other day and she was really concerned that she absolutely ruined her sous vide chicken. And I was like, hold up, hold up. If you've only put it in the sous vide bag and sous vide it and you didn't do anything when it came out of the sous vide machine, sous vide machine like you can probably still eat it but it's gonna taste so good if you decide to finish it either on the grill or in a cast iron skillet so if you're following the sitbitego.com recipe that i have for sous vide chicken or if you got the recipe from my sous vide cookbook that just came out then you probably cooked your chicken somewhere around 140 degrees and actually, if you left it in the sous vide bath for the amount of time you're supposed to, then it really should have fully cooked. Now, you can tell sometimes that the meat is a little bit pink, which sounds so contrary to eating chicken. Uh, if you were ch cooking chicken any other style, like on the stove or in the oven, you definitely not want to have pink chicken. But the deal is with sous vide cooking, you have to look a little bit differently at it because it's cooking at a lower temperature. So in the oven, you're probably cooking your chicken like 160, 165, but in a sous vide bath, you're cooking it at 140. And that means that it's not going to change the internal color to that crisp white that you're used to cooking when it's cooking at a higher temperature. Now, I am no way saying to eat raw chicken, so there's some other things that you need to investigate if you're really skeptical about how well your sous vide chicken turned out. The first thing I want you to do after you're done cooking your sous vide chicken, and if you're a little bit skeptical, skeptical at how it turned out, is I want you to look on the inside and see exactly how pink it is. Now, the texture of the chicken is going to determine the overall doneness, but if it is like a hot pink, like if it still looks like the raw chicken you put in, it may have had some issues or maybe you were cooking from frozen and you didn't add on the time that you need to, which is one extra hour of cook time when you're cooking chicken from frozen. Another issue that you could be having is let's say that you used a recipe that called for sous vide chicken breast, but you actually cook sous vide chicken thighs and now let's say those sous vide chicken thighs were bone in having that little difference of the bone is actually going to make the length of time different for cooking chicken so you want to always consult your recipe to make sure you're following it to a t there is some experimentation that definitely goes on with sous vide cooking but i would say once you land on a good time and temperature you stick with that time and temperature so how do you know what the right texture is for sous vide chicken if you've never had or you've never cooked sous vide chicken before. Well, what I like to say is that the chicken should be like very fall apart because when you cook something slow cooked, you want to have it nice and tender. The chicken should never be super chewy. Uh, it should absolutely not be dry if you cooked it sous vide style because it's cooking in its own juices so it's gonna stay nice and tender. But the main thing I would look for is that you wanna make sure that chicken is easily pulling apart. You could easily kind of shred it with a fork. That's gonna tell you that the chicken is super tender, super cooked. Even if it's just a slight tiny bit pink. Are you new to sous vide cooking? I am so interested to hear what you're craving and what you wanna learn how to cook next. 
Please let me know in the comments how long you've been sous vide and what recipes you have yet to try. I've pretty much tried them all. So what if your sous vide chicken smells bad? Well, if it, I really don't think sous vide chicken should ever smell bad, uh, especially if you're cooking it from fresh chicken. It just doesn't make sense that it would. It should smell like cooked chicken. It should smell kind of like, like slow cooked chicken that was like basted in uh, chicken broth because essentially it's cooking in its own juices there in the sous vide machine. So if you're chicken smells really funky i'm really wondering if something's either wrong with your sous vide machine or like i said you're using the wrong cut of chicken so if you're using a chicken breast or no sorry if you're using a chicken thigh but you're cooking it at the time and temp recommended for a chicken breast that's probably not going to work with you they are different cuts of meat so they require different cooking times for more tips on delicious sous vide cooking, don't forget to subscribe to the Sip Bite Go channel here on YouTube and follow SipBiteGo.com by signing up for my email list. Okay, and there's one other thing to consider, which is maybe you're looking at your sous vide chicken like a few days after you cooked it. So one of the things I absolutely love about sous vide cooking is that you can meal prep and you could like cook a week's worth of food. Let's say you want like three nights of chicken for a week. You could cook that all on a Sunday and sous vide it all and then leave them in the sous vide vacuum sealed bath and make one chicken a night different ways. So I might do like three different vacuum sealed bags of chicken and use one a night to feed the family. So for the first night, maybe I'm going to do it like chicken piccata style and I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna cook it with some lemon, some uh, panko crumbs on it, some Parmesan, that sort of thing. So like you can do different styles, but the deal is you don't wanna leave that chicken in the fridge forever. And I know some people would argue here because um, sous vide does actually pasteurize the meat. So you can, in theory, keep it for a long period of time. But a lot of times when people have reached out to me and they're wondering what is up with their chicken, it's because they left it in their fridge for like a couple of weeks and you know, as things set, as, a, as it cools, like there's, there's breakdown happening to some extent. So usually it ends up that the person either is writing in because they cook the temperature or they cook the length of the chicken like the wrong amount or it's because they really left it in their fridge for too long. And so the rule of thumb here, for me anyways, I usually try to eat that chicken within a week. Or you could throw it back in the freezer after it's already cooked and then finish it later. Um, I usually don't bother. I, I can only really plan like a week, at a, a week at a time because I want to leave some room for like cravings in there. But I say look at those main things if you're wondering why your sous vide chicken is so funky. <laughs> Okay, now I'm really confident that you left here with the information that you need to check out what's up with your sous vide chicken and you'll be able to diagnose if your sous vide chicken is cooked correctly or not. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the Sip by Go channel on YouTube. I'm constantly uploading new videos and I have so much to share about cooking, sous vide cooking, growing fresh herbs, uh, what else is coming up? I have a whole entire kitchen remodel. I repainted these cabinets behind me so i have just so much coming up and i'm really excited for you to see it so definitely subscribe like the videos and there's like a little bell for you to check if you want to be notified when something new comes up well until next time i hope you have a wonderful and delicious day cheers